they have turned Kenya into a lying nation. Kila kitu wanasema ni uongo. Walikuwa wamesema IT mkiwapa nafasi wakiapishwa tu kuweka Biblia chini bei ya vitu itakuja wapi? Chini. Wakasema mama mboga watu wa chini boda boda mambo yenu mtainuliwa mtoke boto mupeleko ya wapi? Hapo. Ile kitu tu imeenda hapo. Sio mama mboga, sio boda boda, ni ushuru wa zakayo. Kweli si kweli? Kila kitu imetoka boto imeenda wapi? Hapo. Na sisi tunaanza kuambia wa, wa, waambie wa Kenya ukweli. Sababu what has been happening now is totally turning Kenya into a lying nation. Leo nimeona rais wa Hungary mama moja ambaye amejiuzulu sababu alikuwa ametoa pardon kama vile msamaa unatolewa kwa maabusu lakini kimakosa aka pardon yule mtu alikuwa amenajisi watoto na leo ame resign na amesema Hungary is an upright nation is a nation of integrity these are our values na amejiuzulu sababu hayo makosa yalipatikana and they go against the values of her nation lakini hapa kwetu we have our values as christians as muslims as kenyans kenya is a god fearing nation the only thing we are lacking are god fearing leaders leaders of integrity honest leaders that is what we are lacking na hiyo ndio tunataka tubadilishe. Kwa hiyo safari tunaenda 2027 we want to take our country back. Na tuhakikishe ya kwamba we remain a god fearing nation but we also have god fearing leaders, leaders of integrity. Hapa wale ambao walinajisi walikuwa pardoned. Na sio tu kusamehewa tena wakateuliwa wakapewa maofisi wale ambao walikuwa wameua walikuwa na makesi ya ufisadi wa pardon but not just pardon they were rewarded how do you work on serikali serikali then how are we going to change our country we will only do so if we can get the right leadership in place hiyo ndio leo nataka niwaambie wa Kristo wetu wanjui muko na hiyo timu hapa na hamuna habari That team is here in Juhi today in Meru na sisi tunataka mfungue macho na muweze kuiona. <laughs> Wale mmejua bwana Munya you know his record. Wale mmejua bwana Kalonzo miaka hii yote amekuwa serikalini you know his record. Hadi vile alikuwa na Kibaki. Mengi mnasema Kibaki alitufanyia. Na Mount Kenya East haswa Meru kwa ile serikali ya Kibaki na Wamalwa, serikali ya Kibaki na Kalonzo, ninyi mlikuwa ndani, ndani, ndani. Nimeanza kusikia manunguniko kidogo e, juzi na wabunge wenu nilisikia wakikaa na wabunge wa ukambani. E, hiyo story muendelee kuongea sababu lazima tuanze kusema ukweli. Tuanze kuambiana ukweli. Ili safari ya huko mbele tutembee pamoja turekebishe. Watu wa Meru, watu wa Mount Kenya East muingie na ninyi mtakuwa kwa ile serikali inakuja 2027 mtakuwa ndani ndani simekubali tembee pamoja shukrani